Welcome to Brick Math with Dr. Disler. In this session, we are going to be looking at getting to know fractions with the brick. So we're just going to be building some fractions. We're going to look at um, what different kinds of fractions look like in terms of brick color, because that's a little bit important with fractions. The first thing you have to do, though, is get yourself some Lego bricks. So go to your room and get yourself a pile of Lego bricks. I'm going to be using bricks from my Brick Math Kit. So if you're interested in the Brick Mask Kit, you can go on to Amazon or Barnes & Noble online, or you can go to BrickMathSeries.com and order your own Brick Math Kit and any one of the books that we have uh, to offer. There are 10 titles available currently for K-6 curriculum. So let's get started with some fractions. Well, the first thing I think we need to do is talk about how we build a fraction. So find yourself a one by two brick. And remember, in the getting started with brick math uh, video, you will find how to name the bricks. So if you're unsure about that, go back and watch that video first. So we're gonna place the one by two brick on our base plate. And underneath that one by two brick, we're going to place a one by four brick. I'm also going to build this a little different way in case you want to do it this way. I'm going to take a one by two brick and I'm going to put it on top of a two by two brick. So either one of these, you could use the model to build the fraction. This fraction is two fourths. So as you look at this fraction, you can see there's two studs over four studs. And when we look at it, it's two out of four. So two fourths and two fourths. Um, I'm going to be using this horizontal model mostly in the modeling, so I'm going to remove this one for now. But as we go through, we're going to build uh, different fractions in this direction. So this is two-fourths. So now let's take two-fourths off and let's build one-fourth. So we need a one-by-one one and a one-by-two. So we have a one by, I mean a one by one and a one by four, sorry. So we're going, this is a unit fraction. When we talk about a unit fraction, it's what parts of the fraction can we build by adding together individual pieces of the fraction with a numerator of one. So we have the numerator of one, the denominator of four. So now we're going to build another one four. And now we have two units of the fourths fraction. So now we have one fourth and one fourth. We are going to build a third one fourth. Sorry about that. And we're going to build a fourth one fourth. And when we put these on the base plate, you see that we have four different fractions here, each one equivalent to one fourth. Now, one thing I'd like you to notice is all of my denominators when I'm building these fractions are the same color. And there's a reason for that. When you're looking at um, adding together like fractions with the same denominator, your solution and your answer have the same denominator. So this means that if I have green, 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 I need green. So I'm going to get a one by four green in my solution and I'm going to put it underneath. Now, if I want to know, if I have four unit fractions of one fourth, and I want to know what that really is as a whole, I can take these pieces and I can move them down and place them right on top to signify the joining of these four unit fractions. And when I do that, you can see that I have a rectangle, which means that I could take any one brick, which is a two by uh, four brick, two by four brick, and place that on top. That means that this is equivalent to one whole. So one unit fraction four times, because our denominator is four, will give us one whole when we place it all together. So it is important to understand that like denominators need like colors, and that unit fractions add up to one whole of that denominator. So this is four fourths is what we have when we put that together. Now there's a different kind of fraction that we can build. So let's take those off of our base plate. 
And first let me let you try one of these, and then we'll move to a different kind of fraction. So I'd like you to get a one by three brick. And I would like for you to build three unit fractions that have the one by three brick as its denominator. So go ahead and try that. Remember, you need all the same color in your denominator and you need one by ones in your numerator all the way across. All right, are we ready? See if yours matches mine. I have one third, one third, one third, and down here I have three thirds. And if I want to, I could place the two by three brick on top of that and see that is equivalent to one whole. So try some unit fractions on your own. See if you can come up with a unit fraction for six. See if you can come up with a unit fraction for eights using all of your Lego bricks that you have there at home. So unit fractions, something that is the basis of understanding fraction addition. Now, there's another kind of fraction that you'll be working with depending on what grade you are in. So we start with these unit fractions and we start with like denominators as we've done today. But we also could add fractions with two different denominators and we can build fractions with different denominators. So if we wanted to, let me build a couple for you here, we would have two thirds and one fourth. You notice that the denominators are different colors and different sizes. So when you're looking at unlike, building unlike denominators, you need different colors on the bottom. And like denominators, you need the same color on the bottom. So say that with me. For like, denom for like denominators, you need the same color on the bottom. For unlike denominators, you need different colors on the bottom. That's real important to remember when you're building with the brick. So say if you can build two fractions that have unlike denominators. There'll be lots of answers here, so go ahead and try it. All right, I built a couple solutions here. See if you can determine what my fractions are. My denominator here is six. My denominator here is eight. My denominator here is 16. My denominator here is six. My numerator here is three, my numerator here is four, my numerator here is six, my numerator here is three. So let's say these fractions together. Three, six, four, eights. And Dr. Dessler needs to make sure those are lined up. Four, eights, six, sixteenths, and three, six. So put your finger on one of the numerators. Which numerator did you choose? I chose six. That means that there are six being used out of the total of 16. So understanding what fractions mean is also important. The other thing about fractions is you always want to use a frame of reference. So I always want to know what you're talking about when you're talking about a fraction. I can't just say three six of something because I don't know what three six is referring to. So I could say three six of the studs are used. So you need a statement to know with your fraction each time. So learning how to build fractions with the brick is going to be important to our next step. So join us next time with fractions as we begin to do equivalent fractions and add with unlike denominators. And in that case, you're not going to want to miss that one because we're going to be building fraction trains. Thank you for joining me for Brick Math with Dr. D. And have a wonderful day.